Hey everyone, this is Ben Carmichael with New England on the Fly. I'm here today to review the HMH TRV or True Rotary Vice. This is a vice that many of you may be familiar with. It's been out now for a couple of years, so it's nothing new. But for HMH, it was a big move. It's a classic look. It's a great vice. Love to talk to you about it today. So many of you will know the name HMH. They've been making vices in New England for over 40 years. Uh, they were up just north of Freeport for a little while, and then this really nice guy, John Larrabee, acquired them and moved the company down to Biddeford, Maine. Um, that's in the Saco area. It's a couple of great breweries down there, a couple of really great striped bass fishing spots too in the Biddeford area, so you guys might know them from that. Um, HMH, uh, over that 40 year period, it's pretty incredible, they never actually made a true rotary vice. So when they came out with the TRV in 2018, it was a big deal for them. Um, the design is uh, something you may recognize. For those true fly tying vice geeks out there, you'll recognize this as a Lawrence Waldron or law inspired vice. Uh, Lawrence, Waldron, Lawrence Waldron's vices, or law vices, the pedestal vices, uh, go for thousands of dollars. Uh, one sold on eBay that I saw for over $3,000. Now, I love tying flies, but three grand is a lot of coin to put out for a vice. So uh, the HMH, you know, they make super high quality vices. Uh, they're handmade, not only in the United States, but in the state of Maine, right here in New England. So this vice will set you back close to $500. Now, that is a lot of money too, but what you get is quality. Uh, the name HRHMH stands for, in terms of its reputation, quality precision craftsmanship. And when you take a look at the TRV, just a glance, you know that that is true. Uh, you've got these steel jaws, You've got stainless steel uh, down here. You've got a really large, like oversized brass knob, um, and then this powder coated uh, base to it. You pick it up, it's really heavy. Um, I compared this to my Renzetti Traveler, and it's almost a pound heavier. Um, so it's not gonna be moving around when you're like cranking down um, on some hair wings or something like that. You're trying to tie a saltwater fly. This has been super stable for me. Um, also, one thing you're going to notice is there's tons of little spots for hex keys or allen keys. Um, everything on here is adjustable, and I'll come back to that in a minute. Now, um, again, true, true rotary vice, a TRV vice. Uh, one of the nice things is um, you can just spin this, right, and your fly will stay in line as you do. Um, I've opted for this little uh, sort of finger spinner, that's not the technical term, but this little finger spinner here. Um, I like it because it's really easy to rotate the vise. Um, a lot of people actually um, take this off um, and they just rotate it with their palm. Um, that's a really classic way, like the Noro vise or something like that, you'll see people do that with. Um, now, the jaws here, this is really what sets it apart. Um, you know, unlike um, some other vices where there's a simple lever and you crank down uh, on the lever to tighten it, what you see is that there are, um, there are two parts to these jaws here, and they're connected by this by four-pronged little spindle here. You actually crank down on this to tighten up the jaws and to clamp down on your hook. Um, inside of here, there's actually three grooves inside this jaw. So you can slot the hook inside of that jaw and clamp down on it. Um, now, I experienced this early on as I was first got the vise and was unboxing it and sliding in a hook. And I've seen some comments online about whether or not hooks actually stay put in here. Um, I personally have tried three aughts to size 20s in this. Um, I've heard um, that you can tie like six aughts. I, I just don't tie six aughts, so I haven't tried that. You can definitely tie large, um, you know, I like Rhode Island uh, flat wings or squid flies. You can definitely tie some of those on two, three aughts. 
you also can tie really tiny little um, size 20s, um, which I've done in this. You just gotta clamp down. It's just, it's not as easy as having a lever. It's just not, in my opinion. Um, so you just gotta apply some pressure. Um, I presume all of you can apply enough pressure to make this vice work. Um, but that is one of the differences here. Um, if you look, um, and I'll show some B-roll of all these little different places, all of these different points on this HMH are fully adjustable. Um, so, you know, as I'm online looking at some comments about it, um, it's like people have gone from a fully automatic Honda Civic, which quite frankly is what a lot of vices are out there, to a super high-end, fully standard transmission car. Um, again, everything on here is adjustable. So, um, this little inner knob here actually enables a nylon disc drag system so you can adjust the resistance as you rotate the vise. You're just not going to find that on other vices. Um, you also can get in here and you can take this whole thing apart. You can clean it, um, you can adjust the tension at which um, this uh, rotates back and forth. I have mine a little bit loose, probably too loose in some cases, but I like to adjust it as I'm working on flies and as I crank down, I just use my hand to stabilize it. Um, so, you know, for almost $500, what are you getting? You are getting, uh, I wouldn't say a replica, but you're getting a vice that is inspired by the most expensive vice out there, at least the most expensive commonly <laughs> accessible one. It's the one that Davy McPhail ties on. Um, I know a lot of you who tie flies love Davy McPhail, as I do. The sound of his voice and that little opening music, it's just like my whole blood pressure comes down whenever that comes on. Um, you're getting a vice that is handmade here in New England. You know, this website, New England on the Fly, is all about fly fishing in New England. I just think that's super cool. You go up to John Larrabee, the owner of HMH, at one of the fly tying shows or fly fishing shows. You ask him about your vice. I actually brought mine in because I was trying to figure something out. He stood there with me and looked at it and answered questions about it. That's cool. I've gone in there on my way up to Canada salmon fishing before. Stopped in for some tube uh, fly tying systems. Uh, the HMH tube system, which I often use with this vice, is like standard. It's a great system. Anyway, we were in there, we're chatting about salmon fishing for a while. I just love that you can do that. I'm a sucker for that sort of thing. So that's what you get. You get super high quality. You get face-to-face -face interaction with craftsmen right here in New England. You get to support USA made product and you get to make one of the nicest, you get to purchase, sorry, you get to purchase one of the nicest vices out there. Does it take some getting used to? Absolutely. Again, it's like going from an automatic to a fully standard transmission car. Does that mean um, you shouldn't get it? You know, some people out there, what you want, you want like a super quick regal vice that you clamp down onto a desk and then you throw back in the desk and you don't have to worry about it anymore. If that's you, this is not the vice for you. Um, go on eBay, find something cheap, find something you can throw in a drawer and forget about. If you want something that will stay with you for, I don't know, decades, something you want to give your kid, this is the vice. Um, at least the HMH vices come with a lifetime warranty. Uh, those guys will happily help you and service a vice for you. This thing is an absolute tank. Um, I have come to really love it. It has replaced my other vices. You'll see a couple of them here behind me. I've replaced my other vices as my go-to. I just sold one of my other ones recently. Don't need it anymore. So the HMH TRV Vice came out in 2018. I'm a little late to the punch here. What can I say? Um, but during this pandemic, I've had a lot of time to tie some flies. I've been having better luck tying flies actually than I have cutting my own hair as my wife has pointed out. Um, but check it out. HMH TRV Vice. You're going to really love it. If you've got the coin to spend on it, it's definitely worth it. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Hope you all are staying safe. I hope you're staying well. 
Hit me up with some comments below. Tell me which vices you like. Tell me if you've tried other HMH vices, if you like the tube system. Love to hear your comments, not only on the TRV, but on other HMH systems. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Have a great summer. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.